and I ended up in Nova Scotia because I rode out here on a motorcycle. And I thought it suited me. And I've been here since 1978. So it's my home. We think that our kids, black kids, should be centered on their own experiences. They call it Afrocentricity, but I got another word for it. You, you just, you're blackified, you're black, and, and you need to know where you came from, and everything that you do and everything that you think about should come from your own experiences. Rayvon and I both love white people. Um, just because. But it has been our experience that when our kids go to a Eurocentric school, that it is confusing for them because the language is different. Their language isn't honored. They're learning about people that don't look like them. So all of a sudden, they're sitting there going like, didn't my people do anything? And the education system is not telling them that, you know, our people created pyramids and stop signs and peanut butter. peanut butter and all these things, right? So we think the education system has failed our kids. When I die, I told the kids, do not let your mother stuff me like Roy Rogers stuffed his horse friggin' trigger. Okay? That's an inside joke. Um, you know, my kids know, you know, I'm not going to be here for a long time. That shit happens, but we had fun, right? So just let me go. I don't think that I fear it. Um, I would say that I, I fear getting old and ill more than I do death. I don't feel afraid. Will I miss my wife and kids? Yeah, of course you do, but I'm good. I'm good to go. Rayvon don't even want to talk about it. You know, I was a pretty good person. You know, I did some things that you guys didn't like. I was freaking good to you for the most part, right? Was I perfect? No. I had my own feelings, but just put me in the ground. That's all I want.